Hi, this is Clinton, inviting you to listen to my show, Comedy Forecast, during Friday Follies, right here on the Mutual Audio Network. The following audio drama is rated G for general audience. This episode originally released March 30th, 2019. Well, hi, Mr. Bell. Hi, Arnie. Hey, Brad. Hey. What aren't you doing? We were watching a movie, Brad. It's called If I Had a Million. It's made back in 1932. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. What's wrong with the picture? The picture? It's all gray. It's a black and white movie. Uh-huh. Back in the 1930s, the whole world was black and white, Brad. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I knew that. What's the, uh, what's the movie about? It's about an aging millionaire who realizes he's going to pass away soon. Pass away what? He's going to die, Brad. Kick the bucket. Kick off this mortal coil. Oh, oh, okay. I see. And he doesn't want his money-grubbing family to inherit his fortune. Oh, well, that's, that's very sad. So he calls in his lawyer. And he gives his lawyer all the money. Oh, <laughs> what a happy ending, Mr. Bell. <laughs> no, 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 no. You didn't let me finish. Oh. With his lawyer watching, he opens up a telephone book and takes a fountain pen and drops ink onto the pages at random. Uh... Huh. Are you understanding this, Brad? Oh, yeah, yeah, except for uh, maybe two things. Those would be... What's a phone book and what's a fountain pen? The point is, Brad, is that he gives a million dollars to people at random. Wait, wait, he he gives away a a million dollars to people he doesn't doesn't know at at random. There he goes. (laughs) Brad, Brad, take it easy. I'll get the defibrillator. Clear. Oh! Thanks, I needed that. So, Brad, would you like to watch the rest of the movie with us? No, no, no. I don't like horror movies. No, no. Thank you, anyway. I'll give this money away to strangers. Oh, with a perfectly good lawyer sitting there. You, Mr. Bell, this, this movie makes me think about something. What's that, Arnie? The cowlets. You know, the little tiny cows that we have out in the yard that were introduced episode in episode... Episode number five. Yes, I know. What about them? Well... I think we have too many of them for the size of the yard we've got, so I was thinking about maybe giving a few away. Oh, and like in the movie, you would just pick people at random and give them a cowlet? Yes, it would be interesting to see how a cowlet would change their lives. That's very interesting, Arnie. Um, How would you pick people? I mean, we don't have phone books anymore. I would scan through social media really, really fast and shoot a dark gun at the screen and that person would get a cowlet. Well, that sounds interesting. When would you like to start doing this? Right now. Let me see the computer, start flipping through social media, and and there is our first cowlet recipient. Part one, big business. Uh, I tell you, Bob, I, I tell you, you know, with our smarts, if we come up with the right idea, we can make a bundle. Yeah, yeah, you keep saying that, but where's this big idea going to come from? What, you, th- you think it's just going to ring the doorbell? I'll get it. Up, 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 up. Yeah, what you want? I got a special delivery for a uh, Charlie Schmeigel Higgins. That's me. Here you go. What is it? I don't know. Thanks, anyway. Uh, how about a tip? Don't eat ice cream that's green and fuzzy. Cheapskate. What you got there, Charlie, huh? I don't know. I don't know. It's a box with holes in here. Let me rip it open and... Uh... Hey, look at that. It's a little cat. I don't think that's a cat, Charlie. Yeah, cats don't usually move, do they? Looks to me like, uh, it's like a little cow. Sure, it's cute, ain't it? Yeah, it's darling. What are we gonna do with it? You in the mood for riblets? Nah, it's too cute and adorable for... Oh, 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 I think I got it. I think I got it. What, is a little cow got means or something, cats and what? No, 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 my big idea. I got a big idea for our business, Bob. Well, it took every penny we got to build it, but here's our brand new store, and we'll have one in every mall in North America. We've got a reporter here who wants to see how our business works before we open. Hi, right, Flash Flanagan here. Why don't you guide me through this new business of yours? Okay, okay. Our business is called Construct a Cowlet. Construct a Cowlet. You bring your kid in here, he chooses the kind of cowlet he wants, and you see we stuff it right in front of him. Stuff it into what? No, we stuff the stuffing into the cowlet. Oh, they got 
of little stuffed collard. How much does that cost? That's only ten bucks. Well, that certainly sounds reasonable. Oh, yeah, here's the good part. Uh, after the parent says they're going to get their little doll in a stuffed collard, we say, you know it needs to have a heart inside. A heart. Yeah, a little plastic heart. We tell them if it doesn't have a heart, it won't love the kid. So naturally, the parents got to fork over 20 bucks for a little heart to go in there, you see? Oh, okay, 20 bucks extra, huh? And of course, their collars got to have shoes. You wouldn't want their little feet to get cold there, would you? Collars have feet? Okay, you don't want their little hooves to get cold. That's 30 bucks for a pair of shoes. And since collars got four feet... That's 60 bucks total, eh? I'm starting to get the picture here. Yeah, then they got to get clothes. Accessories. Official adoption papers. Yeah, we can notarize right here. Well, let's face it, them parents ain't getting out of here without at least uh, 200 bucks per collar. Yeah, I got to admit that these uh, collars are pretty adorable. I can't think of anything a kid will want more. And that's why we're having the grand opening of Construct a Cowlick. Welcome, everybody. Don't push, don't shove. Everybody gets a chance. Come on in. Yeah, just come on over here to the door. Get yourself a cute little uh, cowlick. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, cowlicks. They're, uh, they're adorable. How uh, come nobody's coming over here? What's that? They're all hugging. Those are bears. Stuffed bears. With shoes. And accessories. And adoption papers. But they're getting at that place two doors down. Bears. You build your own cute little bear. Huh. huh. I think we're going to have to uh, adjust our business plan. Yeah, yeah, let's do some research. Quick, look around. What's selling really well? Yeah, uh, place over there selling cinnamon rolls. They got a big long line there. Yeah, and over there they got uh, chocolate chip cookies. They're selling like hotcakes. Uh, over there they got uh, hotcakes. They're selling like chocolate chip cookies. We need to sell sweet confectionaries. Shaped like uh, little cowlets. Yeah, who could resist a tasty, cute-looking cow, cow pies? pies? Yeah, I think we got a winner here. Part two, out of this world. Yes? I have a package here for Dr. Schmerdhingler of the ADLDL. Oh, that's me. Uh, question please. Yes? What is the ADLDL? It's the Aeronautics Division of Launching Diverse Livestock. Launching... We shoot animals into space. Uh, why? Three reasons. One, for research. Two, because we got a grant. And three, because it's lots of fun. All right, well, here's your package. Oh, thank you. And don't let the door hit your foot as it comes down. What? I said don't let the door hit... Ow! Never mind. Hey, fellows, I got a package here. Let's see what's in it. Yeah, open it, open it. Oh, look, it's a cat. No, that's not a cat. It's not? No, cats don't have a nutter. A nutter what? It's a cow. Yeah, it's a cow. A little bitty cow. Well, so it is, which is a good thing because we already have a cat. Yeah. yeah. As I recall, we shot the cow up into space in that Cuban rocket. Yeah, the one we nicknamed the Fidel. The cat? No, the rocket. And where is it right now? The rocket? The cat and the rocket. Oh, the Fidel with the cat inside is still in orbit. I think we should take this tiny cow and have it make a jump, jump through jump, hyperspace. hyperspace. Yay. Yay! Where should we try to send it? We'll send it around the moon. Yay! Prepare for hyperspace jump. Which involves what exactly? Put the tiny cow in the hyperspace jumping spaceship. Oh, oh, okay. Come on, little cow. Get in there. There you go. Prepare to jump in three, two, one. And there it goes. Is that Satchel, our pig? Yeah, that's Satchel, all right. I can tell by his snorting. And do I hear laughter? Oh, yeah, that, that's our little chihuahua. <laughs> he thinks Satchel's snorting is funny. <laughs> all right, all right. The cow should be returning from hyperspace momentarily. Tell Dr. Despoon to prepare the reception module. Uh, Dr. Despoon is not here. Where is he? Well, that really pretty tech in Sector G uh, convinced him to... Run off with it. Oh, I hate office romances. All right, I'll prepare the module myself. Throwing the module switch. And just in time, here comes the cow. Open the hatch. Open the hatch. The tiny cow has succeeded in hyper-jumping around the moon. Yay. Yay. It is time to send our daily report to headquarters. Activate the voice recorder. It's on. Go ahead. <clears throat> A-D-L-D-L. The cats in the Fidel, the cow jumped over the moon, the little dog laughed to see Serge snort, 
and the dish ran away with Dispoon. I think our work is done here. Is it? Let's shut down for the night. Oh, uh, who are we scheduled to shoot into orbit tomorrow? Uh, let's see, uh, Mother Goose. Should have known. Yeah, figures. Part three. Jack climbs to the top. Hey, Ma, here comes up there post-person what brings our mail when we done get some. I'll take care of this. Hold it right there, you shite wonder. You got anything for me from the IRS? No, ma'am. The FBI? No, ma'am. Anything on it that says past due? No, ma'am. All right, give me the mail. There you go. What is it, Ma? What is it? It's a box, son. It's a box addressed to you. To me? To me? Let me see it. Let me see it. Oh, I wonder what it could be. Here, let me shake it. Oh, wait, listen to that. I think it's hated. I'm going to open it up and... Wow. Ma, look. Ma, we don't need no dang cat. It's not a cat, Ma. I think it's a little tiny cow. Well, what good is it? Well, we could milk it. Where are you going to find a stool that small? I say we get rid of it. Oh, but Ma. Take it into town. See if you can get at least a couple of bucks for it. All right, all right. Uh, got a rope anywhere? It's too small to use a rope. Here, use some yarn. All right, let me tie this around its neck. Come on, cow. We got a date with Destiny. And so, Jack set off that day to go into town to sell the cowlet. Hey, you want to buy a little bitty cow? Forget about it. How about it. you, little bitty cow? Get away from me, kid. Hey, I'm having a going out of business sale on little bitty cows. Who wants one? Scram, kid, you bother me. The day turned into evening, and Jack, dejected, felt all was lost. Until... <sighs> you don't want to buy a little tiny cow, do you? How tiny are we talking here, bub? Oh, here it is. See, at the end of this, uh, yarn. I must admit that is a tiny cow. How much you want for it? Oh, uh, uh, um, uh, ten dollars. Uh-uh. Why not? I heard that tiny cows are not worth ten dollars. Where'd you hear that? Oh, I heard it on the bovine. Come on, sir. This 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 cow is very valuable. Really? Then would you say it's priceless? Uh, yeah, sure. So it has no price? Yeah. Wait, what? Then I'll take it off your hands for nothing. Oh, well, uh, gee, thanks, but, uh, I think Mom's gonna be upset. Tell you what I'm gonna do. See, you don't leave empty-handed. I'm gonna give you something for this little cow. Oh, money? Uh-uh. A new car? Uh-uh. An Amanda Range? I'm gonna give you something that's worth more than all of those put together. Here. What are these? They're beans. Why would I want beans? Well, for one thing, they're good for the heart. I don't want your crummy old beans. These aren't your typical crummy old beans, pal. These are magical crummy old beans. Really? Uh-huh. Oh, well, okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, boy. Wait till Mom sees these magic crummy old beans. <laughs> Hey, Ma! Ma! I sold the little tiny cow! Well, that's good, Jack. I hope you got something good for that little tiny cow. Not like those magic crummy old beans you sold the goat for last week. Uh... And the pig week before that. Um... And the jackass. You mean my brother? Yeah, but that was no great loss. Show me what you got for it. Show me, show me, show me. Could you put down that frying pan first? No. All righty. Um, I sold the little tiny cow for, um... Magic crummy old beans. Oh! Oh, Mama! Them magic crummy old beans had better be magic this time. Yes, Mama! If you don't do some magic by tomorrow, I'm gonna whoop your hat. Yes, Mama! No, Mama! Oh, I gotta plant these magic crummy old beans somewhere and hope that they grow and do something magical. But I can't do it here near the house in case they don't do nothing and Mama will see it. I guess I better walk down the road here a bit and find a place to plant them. No, no, no. Oh, there we go. There it is. Perfect. Eli Manning's house. Yeah, he's a quarterback of the New York Giants. He wouldn't mind having magic beans planted in his yard. I'll just dig a little hole here. Stick in the beans and wait overnight and see what happens. Let's see, where can I sleep? Ooh, this hot tub would be nice. Brr. Brr. Wow, that night went by fast. 
Well, let me see what happened to the... <gasps> A beanstalk has grown up, 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 high up into... A second story window! I gotta climb this beanstalk! Uh, 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 and into the giant's house! Uh, wow! Look at all the cool stuff! Jerseys! Workout equipment! A direct TV box! And what's this over here? <gasps> That's the biggest chocolate egg! I've ever seen in my life. I'm sure the giant won't miss it. I'll just pick it up gingerly and... Oh, jeepers, crime, and that with the alarm. Maybe he's not home. Is that stealing my stuff in there? He's home. I gotta get out of here. I gotta go out this window, down the beanstalk, and head on home. Mama! Mama! Mama, look what I got! What? You in an all fired hurry about, boy? The beans! They sprouted into a beanstalk! And I climbed up the beanstalk and went into a giant's house! And I found this here big old chocolate egg! Let me see that, boy! This here ain't no chocolate egg. It ain't? This here's a football, you dummy. And it's got something written on the side. What do it say? What do it say? Uh, let me see. Uh, Supper Bowel Zulvai. Let me see that. It says Super Bowl XLVI. This here's a Super Bowl game ball, you is you? It is. For the first time in your life, you've done something right. I'm proud of you, son. You got this here valuable artifact and got away clean. Um... You didn't get away clean, did you? Well, not exactly. Well, at least you zigged and zagged and tried to lose them on your way home, right? Uh... Just what are you trying to say, boy? Eli's a coming, and he's really mad. He's really, really mad. How mad is he? Gonna kick our butts. What do you mean, our butts? Eli's coming, hide the football. Eli's coming, hide the football. Boy, I'm gonna tan your hide, but right now, I think we better hide that You've been listening to Bells in the Bat Free, episode 217, copyright 2019 by John Bell Creative, LLC. Oh, Rollo, it's been a glorious day. Yes, it has, my little mud turtle dove. Hi, this is John Bell. They say a picture is worth a thousand words. In my podcast, Bells in the Bat Free, I usually surpass a thousand words. Why does he? But for every episode, there is also a picture. You mean that itty bitty picture that you see when you bring up the episode? Yes, that's called a thumbnail. They're drawn on thumbnails? But now you can see all the thumbnail pictures in large format by going to the Bells in the Bat Free Gallery. Just go online to thebatfree.com. That's T H E B A T F R Y dot com. And click on Gallery. That's G A L L E. I think they can figure that out. You'll see all the pictures for all the episodes that were created by Jeff Music, along with other guest artists like the Lavalier Brothers and famous animation director Dan Reba. Well, he knows one celebrity and he really wants you to know about it. You'll also see lots of fan art over the years and a few surprises so when you're in the mood for a picture instead of a thousand words especially his his words go to thebatfree.com and click on gallery and be sure to clean your thumbnails before viewing